Hello everybody, Slim Kirby here. Welcome back to more of the Diddy Kong Racing playthrough. Today we're going to be using frickin' Bumper the Badger here. You know, this character that definitely changed life as we know it for Diddy Kong Racing. He actually didn't, but you know. <laughs> Just trying to be funny and clever. You know how it is. So, I'm going to go back to Crescent, um, not Crescent Island, Sherbet Island. Crescent, well, we will be going to Crescent Island today, but <laughs> mainly I meant, uh, yeah, I meant this place. We got to do these silver coin challenges. I think only one of the silver coin challenges is really that difficult. And, uh, I think I mentioned that, yes, the other day when I talked about Crescent Island, so... That's going to be our, probably our main trouble spot for this video. Once we get through that, though, well, technically we will have that freaking octopus again, but, you know, I, it shouldn't be that bad. I, uh, as long as I can get a lucky break in the first lap, I should be fine for that damn octopus race. But yeah, that's all the silver coins. They're pretty much out in the open. I think in Adventure 2 they actually do go about putting one in the pirate ship, but that's Adventure 2. Uh, also, let me get, know what you guys think about doing, not necessarily an Adventure 2 playthrough, but definitely showing off all the silver coin challenges in that mode. I mean, it's just going to be those. I don't really think I need to show anything else because... I'll go ahead and say it, Adventure 2 is pretty much just Adventure 1, slightly different silver coin challenges, and the tracks are mirrored, like in the uh, Mario Kart Mirror Cups. That's really all Adventure 2 is. Doesn't really need a full playthrough, but the silver coin challenges could be something worth showing off, so if you guys are interested, let me know. I could probably get through all of those coin challenges in like two or three videos, so... You know, it's more content for those who are interested. But yeah, here we go. Frickin' Crescent Island. I wish they could actually show you the coins in the preview so you have, like, kind of an idea of where they could be. But on the other hand, that could be kind of... Maybe not cheating, but... Yeah. It would have it been a nice touch, I think. Yeah, so this coin challenge. Oh my god. I don't know where to start. First of all, there's forks in the road, so naturally you would be correct, correct in assuming that you have to go down both paths if you want to get all the coins. Then there's a lot of coins that are off the beaten path, too, so you have that to worry about. Then you have this freaking coin out here. That, this coin is kind of a pain. But then, you have that one. <laughs> That is probably the worst silver coin of the bunch. You have to go so far out of your way to get that one. Quite literally off the track, in a sense. And then there's that one, too. That one can be kind of a pain to get as well. But I think I actually... Okay, I just have that last one to worry about, so I can actually spend some time trying to grab it if I need to. That was a pretty good run. Got freaking six out of the eight. Not bad, not bad at all. And I don't have to go up that stupid boat path. I hate going up that path because it almost feels like it's slower to go that way. Okay, let's, uh... Oh. Dang it. Oh, I probably should have went back there and got that. Because if I miss it here, I could potentially lose the race. But if I use all these zippers properly... I could actually use to spend some time. I'm gonna hope I can do this without having to restart. Okay, I'm gonna go a little slow here. There we go. Woo! Nice. I'll take it. I'll definitely take it. Okay, let's move on to the next one. Pirate Frickin' Lagoon. 
You gotta add that frickin' at the end of it. Or at the beginning of it. No, in the middle of it. <laughs> God, I suck at words today. This one isn't too bad from my recollection. Just, you know, if you did what Whale Bays pretty easily, you should be fine here. It kind of just gets down to can you control the hovercraft? And if you can, great, you're going to do well. If you can't, these could be an issue, potentially. Okay, there's a coin there. I think this is another one where you can't get them all in one lap. Maybe you can, maybe you can. Yeah, you should be able to. What am I talking about? I just didn't curve over to the left at the end there like I probably should have. Oh, pfft. I messed that up too. We Go frickin'... I almost called him Badger. No, he is a Badger, but I meant to say Bumper. He's kind of, um... Uh, he's kind of what I wish frickin' Crunch and Banjo could be. He's definitely heavy, but he doesn't have as much speed, but a little more control, you know. Kind of like Diddy in a lot of respects, too, although Diddy, I think, is more lightweight than Bumper. Hard to say, really. Okay. Whee! Awesome. Love how I went on the outside of the finish line. Okay, well, only got one more to go. My god, this is a quick video. <laughs> Although we have the trophy race still, so it's not completely over. Treasure caves. It's easy. I think you can even get all the coins in one lap. Although, to be fair, I almost did that in a few tracks today. I'm not going to get them all in one lap, though, because I missed that one, but you know what I'm saying. Oh, yeah, you can definitely get them all in one lap. It's just I chose not to because that one point was kind of uh, out of the way. Damn it, I was, I was supposed to hit that zipper, but, you know, it didn't happen. Ouch. Okay. Only need two more coins, and they're pretty... They're pretty self-explanatory. Oh, I missed it. Oh, no. oh, I missed both of them. Okay, this is... This is becoming a bit problematic here. Uh, I can still do it, but... I'm gonna need to get some distance between me and these guys. Wish I could fire the missiles backwards. That would be nice. Okay, got that one. Got that one. Okay, good. I should be fine. That did get kind of hairy at the end there. On that final lap. But, no need to worry. We can move on to Octopus Round 2. This was the race that held me back for so many freaking years. Maybe not years, maybe it was months, but regardless, this was hard. This was one of those challenges where, when I was younger, I would get so mad at whenever I didn't win. It was kind of that point where my parents were like, You freaking calm down, it's just a video game. I'm like, but it's hard, you guys wouldn't understand. I mean, really, they wouldn't have understood. <laughs> they really, really wouldn't have. Oh god. Yeah, so in this version of the race, I don't know, apparently the freaking octopus learns how to use bubbles, and that's that's what really makes this race a pain, because bubbles are so much harder to avoid than mines. He lays more, than, more of them anyway, as it is. But also, whenever you do hit one, it takes so freaking long to get out of it. 
take so much time. I might be okay though if I... Oh, that was not good. And just the fact that he throws them so freaking far. It's like, dude. Dude, ch chill the... Chill out. <laughs> I was getting ready to say something else, as you guys can probably tell. But I... I... Ugh. Oh, come on! Ugh. It'd be really nice if I could get the blue boost right here. There we go, I got it. Oh, then that happens. That's what I hate most, is because the bubbles are still technically active before he lays them. And the way he uses them, it's like he uses them to widen his hitbox. And that is what's freaking annoying. When he widens his hitbox, oh, it's so easy to hit the bubbles. Might be able to. I should try to hit him right here, actually. Not quite, but you know. You know. Oh! Pfft. That was kind of a bust. <laughs> it was looking pretty good. Oh my. Oh, okay, I didn't get hit by it. Ah, oh, I'm ahead! I'm actually ahead! That's good. I'll just stay in front here. Grab this. I'm actually going to use it immediately just so I can get some more distance. And there we go. Oh my god, I freaking hate you! I hate you as a kid, I hate you now. That haunted me, too. The fact he said, Goodbye! Oh, God. I hate that octopus. Oh, I hate it so much. But it's over. Guys, it's over. The octopus is behind us. You know, until I get to Adventure 2 and I have to do that over again. Oh, God. But there's still one thing left to do. This one shouldn't be as freaking taxing as that stupid octopus was. Well, Imagine having to race the freaking octopus in all these courses. That would be... That would suck. <laughs> that would really, really suck. But now we have some nice little uh, trophy races to get through. This is what I find kind of interesting, because in the trophy races, they actually change the order of the tracks. They actually did in a, a normal run. So I think they actually give you Pirate's Lagoon after this, instead of Crescent Island. Well, okay, let's just, let's just get stuck. You know, because... Let's just get legitimately stuck. I'm trying to think of more stories from the uh, Diddy Kong Racing cartoon I envisioned when I was a kid. I can't think of anything. I just remember that stupid love triangle. <laughs> Of all the things I remember, that's what I remember from it. The frickin' Diddy Kong Conquer and Pipsy Love Triangle. Is 
So yep, here we are, Pilot's Lagoon. You know, the true second track of Crescent Island. I mean, I guess it makes kind of sense. Get the hover track. Hover track. The hover craft tracks out of the way first, but still. I should probably once again grab more bananas. I haven't exactly been doing that in these races. They're just so easy to forget about. I don't know why, they just are for me. I should never forget about them, but I always do. Whee! Go frickin' Bumper! I want to say that Bumper was like kind of the, uh, kind of the handyman of the cartoon that, that I envisioned. I have to keep saying that it's the one I envision, just so people don't actually look for a Donkey or Diddy Kong Racing television show. This is just the one that I had in my head. Oh shoot. Get, ah, get off of there. <laughs> Come on, Bumper. Okay, next track, Crescent Island. Let's do this! Let's do this good. Aw, oh, yeah. I want to say that, like, Banjo and Crunch were in a gang. This is just getting worse the more I reveal about it. <laughs> I should just shut up. Shut up, Slim. Shut up! <laughs> I know there's legitimately people who want to hear more, but <laughs> maybe I shouldn't for the for the sanctity of what's still left in this world. Tip Top was like the nerd of the group, he kept falling down. No, stop saying, stop talking, Slim. Stop talking. <laughs> stop talking, seriously. <laughs> oh god, Puddle Plains is gonna have a field day. I can already tell. I think I'm still fine. Yeah. Okay, well, I have the trophy. That's kind of a given at this point. I remember the trophy races being a lot harder, and they are they are more difficult, but I've been having more trouble with the silver coin challenges. Which, in terms of the AI, is kind of a normal AI, which is kind of weird. But again, the, just the just the challenge of grabbing the coins is what makes it difficult, honestly. Honestly, the most trouble I've had in this area of the game has been with the boss, and then also that battle game. So that, that's, that's honestly pretty good. Kind of looking forward to the next world. Give me that trophy. I want that trophy. Thank you. It looks a little glorious. Uh, one thing I should mention, I haven't... I, I mean, I'm, I'm sure you guys have seen it in passing, but I haven't exactly shown it off either, so I guess I'll do that before I end the video. But, 
there is actually a place where you can see your trophies. Out here on this little billboard, you can see we have three of the four trophies. This will become important later, but we'll uh, we'll get to that soon. But this has been Slim Kirby. I will see you guys next time when we move on to the last world of the game. So let's get pretty hype about that. Later, folks.